Yo! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Boot. Coming at you all with the first Supreme unboxing of the season, man. If you cannot tell, I'm so excited. I'm so glad y'all joined me on the channel, man. And I got a good one for y'all today. If you missed my Supreme Live Cop on week one, we went crazy. I think we spent like a solid $700 or something. So this is going to be a fun unboxing. We're going to be trying a bunch of stuff on. We have a ton of different items to show to y'all. We have one of my favorite items Supreme has released, man, that I cannot wait to get into. So drop a like if you guys enjoy the video. FTP unboxing is coming next, and I have a ton of of unboxing still I have to do from last season so I'm really in that spirit man it's grind time on the channel yet again so we're gonna start banging out a lot of these unboxing videos if you guys like to watch stuff like that feel free to drop a sub if you're new and let's just get on into this video let me know your favorite pickups from week one that you got or just the season in general and let's begin you know the vibes we gotta feel up our packages and find that goody one and here it is man I think I know what this order is I believe it's my first order from week one let's break into it so here we go first package of the season and Oh my lordy, two box logo stick, get the fuck out of my face. This is actually a week two order. Um, yeah, I'm freaking stupid, man. I thought these were my jeans from week one. These are my jeans from week two, but it's all the same to me, man. It's still a good cop. Let's break it on open for y'all. Now, as I promised, I'm gonna be showing these on body as well, but right here, right now, I'm just gonna show you what they look like in hand. As you can see, I don't have a lot of room to show y'all, so these will look better on body, but this is the double knee painter pant. Um, a nice wash black color. I really wanted the blue pair of these, but I've so many light wash double knees in blue and I feel like it's low-key kind of hard to find a nicely washed black pant like this so that's why I chose this color I'm definitely gonna be going on body for the personal I love the fit of double knees from Supreme one of my favorite pants you also got this pin as well the one two fuck you um, pretty fun little pin not my favorite but you know I had to get it for the collection so that was a funny start not even a week one package but let's break into one of these other ones and see what we got inside oh no 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 are they hoeing on the stickers this season already man I don't Oh, Supreme, what are you doing? Supreme, what are you doing to me, bro? I'm your best customer. So, literally, we just got one. They can't even give us two of the damn box logo stickers. Oh, sweet Bertha. I see my personal shirt in here. I did manage to get a tonal box logo shirt in my second checkout. This is actually a white double XL. Kind of a W to be honest, like a double XL any color is not a bad scoop and I've actually seen um, some people were dying the white tonal box logo. That You got like a white box logo with a different colored shirt. I actually thought that was a really clever idea. Hopefully that helps out the white color because it's the only color you can really do that with. Shout out to the person on Reddit that came up with that though, like a nice sage dye on that. That would actually be kind of a W. But besides that, a lot of people did not like these tonal box logos. They're not going too crazy. We also got two of this T-Rex T and double XL. Again, double XL T's, man, that is always going to be the move. I can't unbox these ones, but I'm going to show you guys this other shirt. Oh, sweet birth of Mary Joseph. Here we got the Kurt Cobain tee, man. You guys see it on body, bro. You see why I'm so excited over this shirt. Ooh, in-store tag, too. Damn, they know how to treat me. If I find out there's a Kurt Cobain sticker and I didn't get one, there's gonna be hell to pay, fellas. The print is beautiful on this. This is from his Live in New York Unplugged concert. Oh, my fucking love. And here it is on body, man. You guys really don't see me keep Supreme shirts anymore. Definitely, like, my favorite item from week one. I, the sweater, when this releases, y'all are gonna see me go feral on the website, bro. If I take a L on that sweater I'm catching bodies I'm doing 25 to life definitely like my favorite part of this season so glad I was able to get this shirt I wish I got the sage color like that light olive I might have to end up buying a color of that as well because that one's super sick I wish I did on drop day but no stickers man I swear to God supreme like why do we always gotta do this so this next package oh yes stickers finally bro finally thank you we got the Reaper sticker I love this one in sticker form. I said I wasn't the biggest fan of the shirt to wear personally, but the sticker is so fucking glamorous. And then also, the little mini logo stickers, bro, this one's actually really nice, the different colors. They killed it on the stickers. And then this garbage. And here we have my Shibori jeans. Look how quickly I unbox those for y'all. Y'all really thought I was gonna keep those in the bag. Um, I'm so excited to see these in hand. I am planning to sell them. This was like my recommended best potential profit week one item. They've definitely underperformed so far. The black color is doing pretty well. I don't know what's going on with the blue. They're doing terrible. This pant is crazy. It's kind of hard to show off since the logo is on the side. Potential chance I do end up keeping them. Uh, it's a little too logoed out for me to be honest. I do wish it was like a backside logo but honestly like in hand these definitely aren't quite as loud as they were looking on the website. I'll be holding on to these for a while and I think the prices are going to be going up. I'm guessing we see these hitting around like the 400 range by the end of the season so that's what I'm going to be looking to sell out. We're going to open up this last package but man if you've watched me for a while you might remember I used to cop like a single t-shirt at drop 
drop, man. That was like all I could really afford to buy. And now I'm the brick god, bro. Like, I be getting these bags like it's nothing. Yes, sir. We got both of the shoulder and waist bags. But hold on, folks. We got a shitload of them. God damn. How many of these bags could you fucking buy? We got three of the military shoulder bags. That's insane. I didn't even remember you could get that many. Um, some people I remember said week one, they did not have the option to get multiples like I did. Let me know if that happened for you or no, because I remember I was shocked. You could just click, select like three different bags. You used to be able to do that with like the Hanes boxers, but they introduced it with way more items. And I suppose since I'm already hyping up the good guy narrative, I'll take one of these out for y'all. Definitely feels like a little short, man. Like what in the actual fuck? Maybe that's why these aren't performing that crazy right now. This is a little fucking purse, my guy. Like what in the god? That looks so zesty, bro. What is this? This is way smaller than I ever imagined. I know these have not been performing like as hot as expected. That might be why. But oh my god, how could I forget? We got stickers in here, bro. And okay, okay. So it looks like we got another Reaper sticker. I'll take as many of these as I can. Um, another one that's like multi logo stickers. I'm not mad about it. But I would have liked to see some different ones. Let me know which ones I missed out on, which of the stickers. I can't even remember them, but there's definitely some fire sticker. Oh, like the cat sticker. Damn, bro. I would have loved to get that one of my other orders. That's a bummer. I also have like the waist bag to show y'all. Really just the same thing we see every season. I'm not really too into the bags with Supreme anymore. But you guys did sell out my green duffel that I kind of wanted to get. So we'll see if I still buy one at the restocks. We got another Kurt T. This one's in the black colorway. I might even keep this one as well, to be honest. I do kind of want the olive more so than the black. I already have enough black shirts, but oh my God, the white on black pops with the blue, like, I love this shirt. Y'all can tell, man, I'm obsessed with it. And then we got some more box logo tees. I'm sorry I'm not unboxing these, but like, honestly, you won't even be able to fucking see them. It's white on white. Wish I could have gotten some other colors, but I was in a panic. I remember from week one, everything was selling out on me. So I was going for like the tan box logos and stuff, and I just wanted my damn Kurt tees. So that's gonna do it for the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed the other ones we have coming up are going to be fun. There's a bunch of stuff for the personal I've been buying this season. I really do appreciate those that watch my videos all the way through, man. Shout out to my brick soldiers that made it to this point. And I'm going to start doing some unboxings from past seasons as well. Like, I'm telling you, I have way too much stuff in here. And it's time to go crazy on the tube. We got FTP as well. So, a lot of content on the way. Expect a ton from me. I love y'all, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's been your boy, Boone. A lot of pickups. Kurt Cobain, T, on me. Let's go, man. I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.